Hello everybody. It is Friday. It is December 1st. We have after today, 30 days until we are in 2024. We have 24 days until it's Christmas day. So for those of you who have children that you're worried about buying gifts for, um, now's the time to stress. I'm just going to put it out there like that. So my husband, Kevin, and I, I'm sure most of you know who Kevin is, Kevin247, if you want to look up his YouTube channel. We just did a live stream on his channel, and it was a serious conversation, y'all. It was about um, insurance in Florida and things like that, but unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, I didn't have to cook breakfast this morning. I took the, I got up early. I made maybe 20 minutes for myself to have some hot tea, which I'm having another one right now. Today is... This is green tea with lemon and spearmint. The first one this morning was English black tea, I think it was called. It's got the highest caffeine level. This has like a mid caffeine level or whatnot. So I, I sat down and I had maybe 15, 20 minutes to myself where I had some hot tea. I watched some One Tree Hill. Don't judge me. I like to watch all those just basic <laughs> 90s, early 2000s, teenage drama, rom-coms, whatever you want to call them. And then I made the kids lunch for school. I took a shower, got ready for the day, took the kid to school, came back, washed some dishes. And the man who has been sick for the past few days decided that he felt a lot better today and he didn't want me to have to cook breakfast. I don't know if it's because his taste buds were tired of eggs and Kodiak protein waffles with peanut butter or he wanted to give me a break. Either way, I'm happy. And we went to eat breakfast at one of my favorite places this morning. And that breakfast included two maybe three mimosas. And so for our live stream that was supposed to be over on Kevin 247, a very serious, serious conversation about uh, uh, insurance and things in Florida, I hit some weird point in the middle of the live stream where something was so funny in my brain that I literally spit orange juice mimosa everywhere. It went in my glasses, it came out my nose, it went all over my, uh, my phone, it went everywhere. Ask me now what was so funny. I have absolutely no flipping clue, but something that my brain did, it scrolled around from whatever I read and went to its own little corner of imagination. And it was so funny, I could not breathe and could not hold in my orange juice and mimosa. So that was a hoot. If you guys are interested in that, it's over on Kevin247, look up today's live stream. I'm sure you'll get a nice little kick out of it. Now, but during the live stream, he actually asked me, he said, well, I don't know if he's asking me or like the general consensus, the populace in the live stream. He made this, in my opinion, as a guy, a dumb question. He said, does size matter? And now most ladies are going to be like, no, of course not. I love you. Size doesn't matter. It's the motion of the ocean, whatever else. Don't lie. Size matters. We all know it. Too big is too big. Too small is too small. So those are conversations that I like to have um, into those kind of topics over on Patreon. If you guys are interested, no harm, no foul, if not. But I know a lot of us like to have that kind of girl talk, if you will. And for me, myself, I don't have girlfriends. Once we left Georgia and moved to Florida, we don't know anybody here. And so it's, it's, it's always just Kevin and I, which I absolutely love. He is my best friend. There's nobody else I'd rather hang out with every single second of every single day. But every once in a while, you will have those conversations with another female and maybe conversations about what it's like getting older as a female or what's going on as a mom, as a wife, as a woman, as a whatever. And a lot of those YouTube is like, want, want, want. They either don't want it. They don't care about it. People on YouTube don't want to have that conversation because they don't want people to see their names in the comments, whatever the reason may be. So there is a link to Patreon in the description. If you ladies and some guys are interested in joining over there, we will have conversations that you don't technically sometimes feel comfortable having on a wide open platform like YouTube. Just wanted to put that out there for you guys. Um, if you are interested now, he did hit me up on a, was it like a different question from yesterday's live stream on squirrel tribe life. If you guys saw it, which led to basically like online scams and taking advantage of lonely men. And he wanted to know if I thought that women would be just as likely to send fake AI generated men money online for whatever reason it may be. Cause we talked about on squirrel tribe life yesterday. For those of you who don't know, we had a live stream over there. I had a live stream over there and I talked about how there's this AI woman who basically earns $10,000 a month being the face of different brands. And she's not real. She's this fake made up hoochie mama that's pulling in 10 grand a month, getting your husband, your boyfriend, your brothers, your, your sons, your whatever your friends just like all hot and bothered over her. And she's not real. It's not a real human. 
which really makes it hard for us real ass females to get attention of men, right? Uh, for those of you who are single, maybe you feel like, you know, it's a hard time competing, if you will, which I hate the word competing, competing against other women, but now you have to compete against fake ass AI, artificial intelligence, uh, drawn up cartoon, but real looking women, which is just at no point in my entire life up until today, did I think that that would be a issue that I had to teach my daughter that she doesn't have to compete with AI. Like I don't even know where to go with that, but it's, it's absolutely dumbfounded because there have been men out there who have sent money to AI women on the internet thinking they're having a conversation with a real woman. And really it's just some, some dude, probably some Indian dude, honestly, not to be like whatever, but whatever, some Indian dude sitting behind a keyboard being like, Oh yeah, daddy, I love it. Blah, blah, blah. While flashing some picture of some AI boobs on a screen that he made in his mom's basement. Like, are you freaking kidding me right now? So the, the man and I, Kevin, were talking about it. And he said, do you think women are as susceptible, if you will, or vulnerable or gullible. I don't know what the right word here is to fake AI men. And I was like, no, women don't spend money like that on dudes. I feel like dudes, in my opinion, are more likely to fall victim to these AI women because it's harder for a man to get a woman than it is for a woman to get a man. Ladies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And men, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If a woman goes out to a bar, you're going to have probably five or six dudes be like, Hey baby, can I buy you a drink? You want to go back to my place? Hey, let's go hang out in this corner over here. <laughs> right. But if you're a dude, you're not going to have five or six women coming up to you and be like, Hey baby, can I buy you a drink? You want to go back to my place? Hang out in this corner over here. <laughs> it's not, it, it just un honestly does not work out the same for men and women in those kind of situations. So whereas I think men are unfortunately going to be more gullible for these AI women, cause they're not going to know they're not real. They're going to spend money trying to get like in their <laughs> digital pants, if you will, or get in their DMS or whatever else. I don't think women are as susceptible to it. And I don't think women are going to spend money on something they see online without having some sort of physical proof that it's real. Like I've seen AI women, they made an AI, um, Cowboys cheerleader. There's been AI women who do, um, like, I don't want, I was going to say prawn, you know what I mean? Flip the O and the R, but they don't do it like that. I mean, there are some that do it like that. It's like a whole QR thing. Y'all, if you really jump into that world, it will, it's mind boggling what they can do with cartoons and AI and stuff when it comes to the whole, you know, boy, girl, I'm just saying kind of thing. Um, but I don't think that women without seeing actual factual proof of real life flesh are going to send money like that to some random dude on the internet. That's like, Hey baby, I'd love to send you a pic of my cockadoodle do, uh, but I need a hundred dollars first. Whereas unfortunately, and nothing against you guys who are watching this, unfortunately men are more susceptible. If a woman is like, Hey honey, send me a hundred dollars and I'll send you a picture of my kitty cat. More men are going to fall for that. And they'll be like, Oh wow. Only a hundred dollars. And I get to see it. And they're going to be so excited. Women are not the same. That's just my thought process on it. I'm just going to say, I can't go into like, again, full, full open, uh, dialogue, if you will, or opinions on stuff. I can't say certain words because this is still a family friendly platform and they also have rules and they also have slap on the hands, on the wrist, on the whatever else for certain kinds of topics. So we can't really have that conversation over here, but I would like to say for the people in the viewership right now for clarification, full transparency, the Patreon is open and welcome to everyone to join, but I really think the ladies, ladies, you're going to get the most out of it because we'll be able to have those conversations open and freely without fear of judgment. No, if, if you're, if you're in the Patreon, you're not there to judge other people. You're there because you want to have these conversations. You know what I'm saying? So no fear of judgment. And most importantly, getting the response from another female in real life, uh, personal perspective and opinions. So got to put it out there. Sorry guys. <laughs> if you think it's like a workaround to some paid monthly membership tier that will give you access to whatever it is you think you may see over there. It's not, trust me, you're not going to get anything 
it's not happening. I'm just going to put it out there like that. Not that kind of woman, not that kind of wife, not that kind of mom. It's, it's not going to happen. So I want to offer a safe open space for discussions and things like that. For those of you who want to have those talks, but you don't want it to be on a YouTube video where people can see what you're saying. You can DM or private message. I don't even know what's called over on Patreon, or we can have this conversations as a group of women on certain things. And guys, I feel like, I feel like guys need to have these conversations too, because there are so many men out there and I'm not pointing fingers at any men, just so you know, but there are so many men out there who have the questions, but they don't have the females to talk to. I will answer your questions. I have, I wasn't going to say no shame, but I don't hold anything back. I'm very blunt. I will answer your questions from the best of my personal knowledge and ability. Um, and so will the other people in the comments. I can guarantee you if we're all on Patreon together, we're all there willing to have open dialogue and conversations. Nothing is a dumb question. Nothing is something that you should be ashamed of. Nothing is off limits. Nothing is off the table. Nothing is off topic, right? Off topics. That's the word we're going with. Um, because I feel like people need that, especially as I was going to say, when you're younger, you need those conversations. But as you get older and your friend groups dwindle, or it's harder to make those kind of friends, hello over here, harder to make friends where we are with, um, where we've moved to it's, it's, you, you need those interactions. You need those people that you can have these open and honest conversations with. And because to me, it feels more like a therapy session. And let me explain why. Because most of the times you guys know my face. I might not know your face unless you have it on your profile picture or whatever else. But I think it's a lot easier for people to have certain kinds of conversations with people that they don't physically know that you've never seen in real life. And I don't know why that is, but I feel like you feel like there's less judgment. At least I do. There's less judgment from people that you don't spend your daily life with. I hope that makes sense. And I'm sure it does to most of you, especially if you're part of this channel and you you've been around with me for a while, you know exactly what I'm trying to say. Now, my husband and I, we have full open dialogues, but it's taken us a very long time to get to that. There are other couples out there who may never get there. There's other couples out there who probably, who may have started with full open dialogue and no whatever. And then there's people out there who want to learn how to have those open dialogues. So I'm there for you guys. If you're interested in anybody on Patreon, I'm sure is there to help you as well. I just wanted to put it out there as much as I love this platform and YouTube and bringing you guys everything. I cannot bring you everything here because it is still an age restricted kind of platform. And I want to have non age restricted sort of conversations. I want to have adult conversations where people can be open and honest with their thinking, what they're feeling, what they want, what they need, what they're confused about, what they're curious about, whatever else with zero judgment. I promise you zero judgment. Nothing you could say would make me go, uh, most of the time I'd be like, huh, well, that's interesting. I hadn't thought of that. And then I'm going to be intrigued. And that's how it works because I'm a very, huh, I hadn't thought about that kind of person. I believe everybody deserves a chance at happiness, no matter who you are, what you are, what you want, who you want, whatever else. So if you guys are interested, there is a link in the description for Patreon. If not, again, no harm, no foul. We continue to have conversations in the comment sections on videos over here in the live chats, whatever else. But if you want to take it to the next level, if you will, and you want to be able to jump outside of that YouTube restriction platform, then Patreon is the way to go. So that's all I want to say to you guys. I love you. I hope you are having a fabulous first day of December. The kid and I are officially going to watch a holiday movie tonight. We've spoke, we're supposed to have done it literally every single night this week. And something has come up every single night. We have not made it to Frosty. We have not made it to Elf. We have not made it to the Santa Claus and we have not made it to Home Alone. And I've been a little pissy about it. And so this morning, finally, I was like, ma'am, little ma'am, is there a reason we have not watched a Christmas movie? And she goes, well, yes, today is officially Christmas. And I said, what do you mean? She goes, well, it's December now. Now we can watch them. And I was like, broski, little baby broski. Why didn't you say to me that you wanted to wait till December 1st? Cause every single day I'm getting my hopes up that today is Christmas. Today is Christmas and then nothing. So today, December 1st is officially Christmas movie season in her mind. So tonight we will be partaking in as many movies as I can keep my eyes open for. That's the plan. So hopefully you guys have a fabulous December 1st, Friday night, whatever you want to call it. And I will see you guys on the next one. I love you all immensely. Okay. Bye.